Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for our next adventure. As always, here's Meech to do stuff like kick ass, pillage, plunder, woo some maidens, and... Well, well, he's probably not going to do any of that sort of thing and end up screwing up and spending the entire episode derping about. Enjoy! Oh, right, guys, it's Meech here, and I'm back again to play some more Delves of Dynvara. Um... If you remember when we left off, I did this nether trap dungeon, which was actually a lot of fun. I really like this. And I also did the parkour challenge thing, the jigger. Up next on the agenda is this sandstone tower. I hear a spider. Um, Spike, the gentleman who made the map. Wow, that's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, the guy who made this map, he said that he's heard from beta testers and whatnot. Oh, shit. But I guess it's been said that this is the hardest. Ooh, that's cool. Uh -huh. Back on track. I guess this is the hardest, or one of the hardest, of the dungeons. What is... There's like a gap in the floor. Um. Yeah, so he uh, just gave me fair warning. Nice guy. Oh, man, the wolf's right on top. I am going to go drop this off safely in the base and almost die. But I'm going to go drop this off safely and I'm actually going to go ahead and finish off that tower just because I mean it's there. Might as well, right? Um, I think we'll try and take it top down. That just seems to be the best way to go about it. Um. Yeah, so. Oh shit. Sun's going down, which could actually be a good thing when you think about it. Because if we get some outside mob spawns, it'll actually decrease the indoor mob spawns. Okay, we got a rune and the skull of Orcus. That's neat. Go ahead and just toss those in there for safekeeping. I hear a lot of spiders. And I know a good way to take care of spiders en masse. Um. Last time we talked, uh, I was telling you guys about my coffee setup for some sale. It was at a Target. I uh, it was a sale, as I was saying. Um, I bought a what's called a French press, and it's essentially just a glass pot with a plunger with a screen on it. Now it works is you just fill it up with hot water, you know, you boil the water. You boil yourself your water. And you 
just dump the coffee right into it. Um, like nothing fancy about it. Uh, so the coffee just sits there and soaks in the pot, and then when you're ready to drink it, you push the plunger down, and that uh, that pushes all the coffee to the bottom of the pot and then from there you can just go ahead and uh, pour it out into your cup. I'm sorry I'm a little distracted trying to take on this dungeon. Um, oh nice. Yeah you just you, know, you push down your plunger and uh, uh, you measure it out like it's it has a little scoop it's like a tablespoon or something like that um, but it's a scoop of coarsely ground coffee per four ounces of water I think oh man more armor though so, do I hear stuff about actually I probably hear stuff outside that's what man he is just giving stuff away man you are such a nice guy <clears throat> excuse me well, I mean I take back any bad thing I've ever said about old uh, spike speaking of him he actually I'll talk about that later it's on my list here but uh I want to go ahead. I have this really bad habit. Anyone of you guys who's been watching me for a while definitely knows my habit of starting uh, to talk about something and then just stopping. So let's go ahead and get these guys a little distracted so I can clear up this lava over here. Um, but, I want to, uh, I want to try and avoid the randomness that happens in all my videos. You know, half-told stories and whatnot. I catch quite a bit of crap for that. Oh, there's the entrance via a waterway. I was wondering where the door was. Pro tip, yeah, uh, chests do not burn. Oh, and I lost my love? Where did I get... Did I have two lava buckets? I definitely do not remember having two lava buckets. But, regardless... Oh, damn. Okay, we have a wooden sword with fire aspect too. Cobwebs and gold. It's a pretty nice dungeon. Cave spider spawner. I have no idea what that meant. Um... Oh man, what should I take? You know, I kind of want to take these cobwebs because I could possibly use them to make some sort of booby trap. Um, I'll leave the sign. I'll leave. I don't want to. I'll leave these. I don't really need those. But I don't necessarily know if I need gold either. So, dungeon went down pretty easily. See, all you have to do is take it on methodically. Take a top-down approach and just go at it. Slow and steady. Do what you gotta do. Okay. Um. You know what? I got ender balls, so I can totally make it into the base there. Though I need to ditch some of this crap. Um. Ooh, arrows. I need arrows. Um, 
Well, I'll ditch this since I got an iron axe. I'll ditch that since I already have a backup. Place that there. And let's get down to my doorstep. And let's take a nap. Really? Monsters nearby? I hate that. Oh, that hurts me so bad. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm sitting here. I was going to like dig down and make some safe stuff for myself. Um. I don't know if it's just me, but the music and stuff just seems really loud. Um, no, like I said, it might just be me, but it, it just sounds, what am I doing? I only need two. Um, let's just ditch a lot of the stuff, because we don't need it. Um, keep the water bucket. You know, that may come in handy. I don't know if I ever need to light any one on fire. That will definitely come in handy. Um, always need wood. Always. Always have wood with you. Like, even when you're just generally, just adventuring, you know, make sure you have wood. I usually carry like half a stack of unprocessed wood just, just to do it. Um, you know, I have not been keeping track of time at all, which is, um, not good. That's definitely something I need to do. <laughs> so I'm going to start doing that right now. Let me get my stopwatch. Um... I'm just going to take a crack at this and say I've been going for like 5 minutes, so I'm going to record for 15 minutes, and just see how it goes from there. So this episode might be long, it might be short, who knows, we'll find out. Uh, but back on to my coffee pot. Like I said, it's called a, a French press, and like I said, you just brew the coffee right there in the coffee pot, and... um. You push it all to the bottom of the pot and drink your coffee. It's pretty good. Uh, I bought some kind of shoddy coffee because I'm a cheapskate. Like, I've been wanting to get a French press for a long time, but I just haven't wanted to pay retail price for them. So I got this and a grinder to grind up the coffee beans for about the price that the pot itself retails for. So I consider that a win. Um... You know, I still did not track down the coordinates of that, so I'll need to keep that in mind. Um, I say um a lot. Uh, because uh is just so much better than saying um. So yeah, we put our coffee, you grind up the coffee, that's, so sponges. It, like, I've done all of my research and stuff in regards to coffee on Reddit, because our coffee is actually very helpful. That's reddit.com slash r slash coffee. And, uh... Oh, the Mario Shroom, that's funny. Um... My old pal Buddy made a pretty funny Facebook post the other day about how Mario's reality is construed because he is under the influence of magic mushrooms. Which is funny because that, I mean, it makes sense. And so I came up with this goofy story about how he works in a pet store and Mr. Balzinski or something is his manager. And I think... That is the monument. It is indeed. 
you know what, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to jot down some coordinates. Um, that's something I really need to do. I'm not using Optifine currently. Okay, let's see. Mon you meant and that is negative three five eight and negative six seven five okie dokie oh you know what you probably can't pick up emerald with stone nope no you can't that would have been cool though I don't know what I would have done with emerald ooh go ahead and just get rid of that let's see what all wools do I have I've got I know I've got orange and blue and red I think so I just need black and white and if I remember correctly that just means I have to do the pirate ship, which I want to say is this way, and there was that little um, mossy cobblestone stone thing sticking out from the water near the pirate ship. So, oh, yep, there's a pirate ship right there. Um, this should be cake. Um, we'll take on this pirate ship like a boss. Oh, hey, get. Ain't got nothing on me. Is that a baby cat? That's a baby cat. How do baby animals spawn in the wild? I don't know how that works. This is a beautiful boat. Um, back when I played on a private server with some buddies, uh, this was right around the time when it released in full the game that is Minecraft released its full version. We played on a private server with just some people that we went to high school with. Um, and one thing, a friend. Oh, dude, why? That's ridiculous. So many spawners. Jeez, look at that. The whole boat is just covered in spawners. I'd hate to see the inside. Jeez, you know what though? This is some bad XP. I need to run back to base and just enchant some... I don't know anything. I'd hate to... Well, I guess it's not really a big deal if I die. Not overly worried about it. Um, but at the same time, I should enchant some gear since I have the levels. You know, I could just go ahead and enchant the gear now. Dude. I know where these guys are at. Blaze rods, diamonds, fish. Oh, that's cool. It's a steering wheel for the ship. That's pretty neat. This is a really nice ship. I made a ship. I was telling you guys on the server I played on. A friend and I, we made. Well, actually, it was just me and my friend Daryl. We made the ship, and it, it was nice, but it, it wasn't as nice as this one. Magical blue pickle. <laughs> I don't want to know what causes that pickle to be blue, but I hope it has to do with the magic. Ooh, sweet. Do mobs see you when you're invisible? Damn. You know, we're about to find out.
Yeah, they see you. You know what? I've been sitting here talking about how much I love this ship. But I don't love it that much. And there are a lot of mobs on here. And as you guys saw in the previous dungeons, uh, chests don't burn. So, ow, damn. Maybe this is the cheap way out, but I'm a fan of doing it the easy way. So let's go check out this little temple here while they do their thing and bang on the doors hopelessly while they burn to death. So that is going to kill my frame rate. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, <laughs> oh, I feel like a champion. <laughs> burn, ship, burn. I do feel bad. That is a nice ship. Now this is kind of cool. It just sticks out of the water like so. Ooh, so I tell you, this is some sort of tomb. Dude, that's creepy. I'm surprised it's not been loaded down with uh, tons of spawners yet. Ah, there they are. Okay, so far so good. Let's take this on one passageway at a time. Because that's how I roll. Though I am invisible still. Yeah, he totally sees me even though I'm invisible. What a dickhead. Did that hit something? Oh, there it goes. Bam. Hey. Here, a lot of badness in this place. You know, I actually have not messed with these things at all. The skeleton heads. They're actually kind of cool. Uh, do they just, are they like just random drops that you can get? Or do you have to do something special when you kill a mob to get them? I don't know. So, let me know, if you know. Alright, a gold sword. Arrows, that's always a plus. Um, we can take this chest. This chest should come in handy. Okay, let's take the side passage next. And we'll come up here. I have a bed still. I believe it's night time. I can take a nap. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and take a nap just to reset my spawn point. That should prove helpful in case I, you know, bite the dust. Which is more than likely, even though I've done really well thus far. Um, and you know what? I said I was going to go for 15 minutes. But uh, I'm at 12 minutes right now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode here because I don't know where we're at exactly. So I'm sure we're around 20 minutes somewhere. So this may be a short episode, and if so, I'm sorry guys, but that's what happens when I lose track of time. So uh, wish me luck. Once we come back in the next episode, I will be finishing off this dungeon here, and we will see where we go from there. Because even if I do finish this, I do have to um, find the rest of the artifacts. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.